one thing I underestimated when I became a dog sitter was how much it would impact my sleep. I really had no idea, especially living in a studio apartment. I'm so tired. I have so much to do today. So Baxter is one of my more anxious dogs. So I usually have to stand here by the door and encourage him to go to the bathroom in the backyard. Go on. Even taking him on walks is hard sometimes. Ah, 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 ah. Go pee. Go, go on. Go on, buddy. Oh my God, I'm so nervous. I know he has to pee. He freezes when he's walking too, so it's not like I can just take him on a walk and that solves everything which I will take him on a walk, but first thing in the morning, I always just let them out in the backyard. He still hasn't gone to the bathroom. I'm gonna attempt to take him for a walk. I don't know how it's gonna go. He just stops walking and he's scared of everything. Like I have a couple boxes in the front room. He'll sniff them and then jump because he's scared himself because he's just such an anxious dog. When he stays for longer bookings, his parents will sometimes give him anxiety little treats that he eats just before bed or if there's a storm or He's just always on edge, but certain things just set him off even more. So it usually takes him like three days to settle in here. And he's only here for three days. So I'm just here with an anxious dog for three days straight. He's scared of his own food bowl. Like, it's like extreme. But he's just so cute and fluffy. Ugh. I, I honestly, I can't with you. Are you gonna go to the bathroom on this walk? Are you gonna behave? because I am exhausted. I don't have that energy or the patience today, Baxter, okay? <sighs> Wish me luck. Also, this is what happens when he doesn't finish all his food. The ants find it. So the ants travel from through the crack in the door, they walk all the way here, and they find his food. So they are having a feast right now. You can't really see them, but they are going crazy right now. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we've had a successful poop and pee. Now it's time to eat, cause I'm starving. Another thing that I didn't expect was how long certain tasks might take and it varies from dog to dog a lot of the times the dogs don't act how they act when they would be in the care of their owners so they're more anxious and they're more like you know on edge because they're in a different environment so just going on a walk or just like getting in the morning routine can take so much longer because they're just not being themselves most of the time um, and for most of them, once they've stayed with me a couple of times there, they get in the flow very quickly, but 
they have their quirks and it can make little tasks so much longer and I just definitely did not expect that either. I'm so tired. I probably got like three hours of sleep last night and right as I was falling asleep, Doug woke up and had a nightmare that there was a giant spider above my head and forced me to get out of the bed even though I knew he was sleeping. I knew it was a dream because I was awake when he jumped out of bed saying, get up, get up, get up. It's just, it was not a vibe. So I am so tired, but I'm gonna power through and get as much done as I can today. I'm just trying to make sure that I stay on top of things. I really am pushing for that goal of reaching 100 subscribers this year and just getting into a flow with this channel, my personal channel. So I'm just trying to make the most of the free time that I do have, so we're tired, but we're working. If you're in Australia and you're looking for a clean seasoning brand, find Mingle Seasoning. Mingle Seasoning, like Mingle Seasoning. Not sponsored, I just love them. Not sponsored, just love them. Another thing that I did not expect before I started this gig was how natural it came to me to just read the dog's body language or just know what they want. Like obviously I'm no expert or like this is to an extent, but especially I, I notice it most when Doug's around, the dog will be, you know, doing its thing and I'll be like, oh, he wants his blanket moved over to this spot. And he's just like, how do you know that? I, I, I think it's because I just am very like aware. I'm like hyper aware. It's like I have a spider sense. And, e and even when I'm around other people's dogs, I feel like it's there as well. If you have a dog um, and you are in a relationship, is there one of you that's like more like hyper aware of like the dog's needs and body language? Because I have heard that, that that's a thing like, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird. Another reason I think it's weird is because it's not my pet, you know what I mean? It's not a pet that I spend 24 hours a day with, seven days a week. Overall, this is a job that I do enjoy, but that doesn't mean that it's perfect. And I feel like I could do a whole other video on just misconceptions about dog sitting and that it's like, oh, sunshine and rainbows and easiest job ever because it's not, and it definitely depends on the dog, and it definitely depends on the owners. All right, so I just put a post up on Instagram, so that is done. I don't think you get celebrated enough. And now it is time to water some plants so I can get into the editing that I need to fix up. I've made the mistake of not repotting my plants this spring and they're really struggling. We had so much going on that I was like, it can wait, I'll do it later. And then summer passed <laughs> and I was like, oops. So my plants are struggling and I'm just hoping that they can get through. I'm like, is it too late to do it now? Like it's end of summer. Before I upload any of our videos on our DJ Adventure channel, I export them and Doug and I will watch them. Usually if we have time, if I'm like cramming the editing right up until our upload time, I won't have time to show him and it just goes live. But I usually will show him and he'll give me his feedback. Um, and it's a good way for me to like catch anything that I missed. There's the tiniest segment in the video where there's no music, where there should have been music, so it's just like B-roll with no music. 
and I didn't realize it. I was like editing for hours yesterday. So I just have to go back and tweak that little part and then I can export it, schedule it, upload it, and then it will be done for next week. And then I have to get into some filming for today. At the end of the day, I would love to have three videos ready to be edited for my personal channel, but I feel like that's a bit ambitious. I always add too much to my to-do list. So if I can film one video on top of this day in the life of dog sitting, that would be great, but we will see. It's already 1 p.m. and it is Saturday, so I did want to like have some chill time, so. All right, it is exporting. What's next on our to-do list? Let's check some things off. So we did our movement, we ate some breakfast, we watered the plants, we posted on Instagram, we re-edited this video. So now we gotta upload and schedule it and then start filming. So while that's exporting on this computer, this is Doug's computer that we use for editing because my computer does not have the capacity on my computer I'm gonna make sure that I have all my scripting sorted for these upcoming videos. So, who knows how long this is gonna take. All right, so I have uploaded the video. I just finished up the thumbnail. It's all ready to go. It has one minute left to process. And I just popped a burrito in the microwave because I realized that it's 3 p.m. and uh, I need to eat something and I don't have any meal prep because it's Saturday and I didn't plan ahead. So, this is why I keep these burritos in the freezer because they're lifesavers. So after I finish eating, I'm gonna get ready. I'm just gonna get like camera ready. Like, when I'm doing like day in the life, so I just like wear whatever, no makeup, hair in a bun. But I'm gonna like get ready, maybe change my outfit, maybe put on something other than sweatpants, um, and get into the first video. My energy is starting to fade, so I don't know if I'm gonna smash out two videos today, but who knows? I might get started and get in a groove, and we'll see how I go, but first I gotta eat. The only downside of these is that like the outside doesn't get crispy. So the plate is hot. The plate is hot. I usually like do the microwave and then I will just pan fry them to get the golden edges. By the way, when I said I toast the edges, I did not mean I burn it to a crisp. This is what happens when you try to multitask and you're not paying attention. This is all I meant. Just nice golden brown. Not, not that. I tried scraping it off and I've just made an absolute disaster of my lunch. So, uh, they're really good, I promise. All right, so it is 3.30 right now and ideally I wouldn't have started filming this late, but it's Saturday. I'm chilling, I'm having a filming day, I'm having a creative day. So, we're gonna start filming at 3.30 p.m. on a Saturday. Let's, let's do it, while we still have daylight, okay? Let's just, let's just roll with it, okay? Outfit change! I feel like this is like, cold weather vibes. I don't know, like is this too much? Am I too casual? F it. All right, we're doing this. So this video that I'm gonna be filming, as you can see, like it's starting to turn into golden hour. We're losing sunlight. So this is kind of dicey to be filming at this time. I am now about to film a video on how I gained 300 subscribers in one year. And that was the first time I filmed over on my couch. I never film over there because it's so dark. There's no windows in this area of the lounge room. And so I avoid filming over there, but I was like, I'm gonna try it and see what happens. And I didn't hate it. So uh, we might be getting cozy on the couch. All right, enough. I'm actually like starting to crash again. And then I'm gonna have to sort through all this footage. So I gotta go. All right guys, so I just finished filming video number two. 
It is, oh my god, it's 6 p.m. That is not what time I thought it was. Honestly, I didn't know what time it was, but it's 6 p.m. So I'm going to take a shower because I am so sweaty because I've just been like working myself up, moving all around, getting all the camera angles, all the things, and my voice is like really starting to go. So I'm probably going to have to wrap this video up soon, but three videos in one day guys i can't tell you how proud i am of that okay like if i upload once a week that's like almost a month of content right there like i'm sorry who the hell are you i don't know i'm, I'm delusional oh and i did change i changed out of my i don't know what i was wearing before honestly i don't know like you guys were gonna let me make a video wearing that like this is just so much cuter i've been wanting to wear it but now I'm changing out of it and I'm changing back into comfy clothes and I'm probably going to take my bra off. So you already know I'm about to have the best time ever. All right. And then I have to take him on a walk. Well, an attempted walk. Um, which I think he just heard me because <laughs> he went real quiet. He was just like doing crying noises. Hello. He's just been on and off crying all day. He'll like start snoring and then he'll wake up and, like, mm, 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 and then snoring. Yeah, how'd the rest of the day go? Say that again, sorry? How did the rest of the day go? We took a shower. So I just took a quick shower because I still have to detangle my hair. I'm trying to now tackle things that would normally be on my Sunday to-do list because it's Saturday. Normally Sunday is like laundry, meal prep, and then if I need to do anything with my hair. But tonight I'm gonna detangle my hair so that tomorrow I can wash it. And then I'll throw on a load of laundry and then I can hopefully like sit down, pour myself a glass of champagne and organize some footage and just wind down for the night. Doug's been working all day as well and he's like two hours away for this job um, in traffic. So he's not gonna be home till probably closer to eight. And so we're gonna have a late dinner. I got so much done today, so I'm feeling really, really like satisfied with the productivity that I did today, but tomorrow I'm planning on doing very little besides like a bit of meal prepping. Now we begin part one of detangling and washing this hair. Well, I watch YouTube, of course. Next up is the duck fetus and the broth. So you start off by drinking the broth that the duck fetus has been marinating. Oh my God! Look at this! Look at look at look at this hair! Look at how long this is! Look at this! We can't! What do you want me to do with this? Oh my gosh! Oh my god! There's no way in hell. Okay, so I am in the middle of watching one of my favorite creators, Antoinette Yvonne. Um, she does like solo female travel. Right now she's in Vietnam doing like a food tour, but it's like a food tour with a twist. It's like Fear Factor food tour in Vietnam. And she ate like a fertilized duck egg and now she's eating something else but you guys have to see this because i can't believe what i'm seeing oh my gosh okay so this is actually oh, oh my god 
Are you actually kidding me right now? Are you actually kidding? <laughs> you got, I can't. I All right, my hair is detangled. It's time to chill, organize some footage, and Doug's just about to get home, so it's time for dinner. Hello. Hi. All right, so we are taking this guy for a walk. Then we're going to come home and organize some footage really quickly before we eat dinner and shut down for the night. So let's do this. But I did want to talk about one more thing when it comes to dog sitting. One of the things that really caught me by surprise is this whole concept that I call the phantom dog. So if I have a dog for a few days even, or like especially the long-term bookings, like a week, two weeks, I had a dog for like two months, a couple of months back. After the dog leaves, there's this part of me that like still thinks the dog's in the house. So I'll be sitting on the couch and we'll be eating dinner and then I'll be like, crap, I didn't f feed the dog. Or I'll just be like, oh, I have to take the dog out or like, my brain still like switched on and it, it, it will happen for weeks sometimes. But it's just a, another unexpected part of this job. But it's been a long day and I know he's very excited to go out for a walk, so. Never forget the pool bags. Sometimes I bring two because you just never know. They, they su surprise you with that second one sometimes. You just never know. I'm going out there without a bra too. Sorry neighbors. Come on. Come on, let's go. Come on. He was so excited and now he won't move. He was so excited to go out. We get out to the fence and he just freezes. And I'm just standing there for five minutes until he decides to move. What's that? It's time to go inside. Come on, look at him. <laughs> I've never met a dog that did not like going on walks. It's so hard. I've had such a hard time trying to get him to go to the bathroom this entire stay. And I, he's like one of my most consistent clients. This is not his first rodeo here. He's been here so many times and it's just, it's never just a, let's just pop out for a quick pee before bed. It's, it's a whole thing. All right, friends, well, that wraps up the end of this video. I am exhausted. It is way too late to be eating dinner, but we're doing it anyway. I hope that this video gave you a little bit of insight on what it's like being a dog sitter and the different things that I did not expect when I started this. But I'm eating and then I'm going to bed, so. Thanks so much for watching, consider subscribing, and I hope to see you tuning into another video soon. Bye!